In this video, let's see another numerical problem based on the topic of evaluation of determinant value. We know how to evaluate determinants of order 1, order 2 and order 3. In this video, we have a numerical problem, a question dedicated to the topic of evaluation of determinants. Let's see what the question has to say and we'll be getting started with the solution. The question is solve this determinant is equal to the other determinant for x. That means I have two determinants which are equated in the question itself but there is some unknown and what is that unknown? That unknown is x and I need to solve the determinant for that x. We'll be writing the heading as solution and we'll be getting started with the solution. So let's write the heading as solution and now I have to solve for x that means what since it is a order 2 determinant I have a trick and we'll be going about that trick only we have to cross multiply things here also and in the second determinant also after cross multiplication we'll be getting some expressions and we will equate them because it is equal to here. So, what is x into x? It is x square. So, I write here x square. Let's make it more clear. It becomes x square. Next, 25 because 5 into 5 is 25. Now, it would be minus 25. Why minus? Because it goes in the formula itself. Equal to of the question. Next, 4 into 5. What is 4 5 are? It's 20. Next, minus of the formula. And now we have 1 into 4, 4, but 1 negative is also there, so it is minus 4. Now what is minus minus? It is plus, so directly I write plus 4. Now x square minus 25 is equal to 20 plus 4, which is 24. So it becomes x square minus 25 is equal to 24. Now this minus 25 is a number, 24 is also a number. So let's keep these together so it is 24 minus 25 goes to the other side becomes plus 25 what is 24 plus 25 it is exactly equal to 49 so x square is equal to 49 but did we find it x square no we need to find x this is x square it is not x so basically we need to compute the value of x from x square now if x square is available how to find x? You basically have to find the square root or the under root. So what is x equal to? x is equal to plus minus 7. Why plus minus 7? Why not only plus 7? Because I know that minus 7 into minus 7 is also plus 49. And there is nothing mentioned that you have to take only positive values. So there are two answers to this question. x, not x square, x is equal to 7 and x is equal to minus 7 and this is my answer to this question based on the topic of evaluation of determinants.